Hello everyone, Dech here, back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at Iron Man port for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So this is version 1.1.0 for this uh, ROM and the Android version is 7.1.1, Samsung Experience version 8.5 and the latest 1st of November security patch. So far this ROM has been amazing, I'm uh, straight going to bet your wife so that I can show you how good it has been for me. So you can see 27% of battery left, 17 hours of usage with 2 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time and uh, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Spotify, unfortunately it's not here so I've been listening for Spotify for something like an hour probably with um, the screen turned on. So uh, streaming to a Bluetooth speaker, so uh, always on display has been uh, on for 2% uh, basically. And uh, this ROM so far has been uh, working uh, perfectly, it's uh, very smooth, I have no problems with it, uh, everything is uh, working perfect. So for example you can see uh, the camera is the Note 8 camera, this is full Note 8 port which is uh, really nice. You also have the ability of turning on the camera with double pressing the power key, so you can see over here which is uh, really nice, so you can do this as well when uh, the screen is uh, turned off so you just double press this is uh, something really good and you can see that you have some new things just like a phone unlocked with a fingerprint so you can see i'm walking it and right now i'm here and when i press it says that the phone is unlocked with fingerprint it also can be unlocked via smart walk which is under settings walk screen smart walk so then you just type your password and you're writing, you have trusted face and you can face unlock your Samsung Galaxy S7 which is something really cool. This, this ROM is uh, really smooth. Uh, previously I was using the S7 stock ROM which was one of the devices. Everything is just uh, working perfectly. You can see that everything is uh, loading uh, fast and smooth. So uh, let me just find an application, for example YouTube, you can see that I've been watching this this morning, so this was at 9pm, right now it's 1.30, so you can see that it straight loaded it, and I have a lot of applications over here. So um, one thing to mention, if you're going to use Snapchat on this ROM, while installing be sure to click the Note 8 build prop, it will be down on the last onto the list, so if you want to use uh, Snapchat, click on the Note 8 build prop so that you can have it working properly. I choose the stock kernel, which, uh, which is the stock Samsung kernel. You also have the ability to choose the Iron Man kernel. You see this. So uh, this ROM is based on Android 7.1.1, which is uh, something really nice. This is the only way right now to get Android 7.1.1 with Samsung experience on it with uh, this port. Something I would like to try with you is go ahead in the Play Store and download Accu Battery. After you've downloaded it, swipe through the introduction and then go and discharge your phone to 1 or 2% so that it doesn't turn off. Put it into the charger and walk your device and use it. Just don't use it basically, if you can, don't use it so that you can see what is the health of your device. So on this stock room, mindset, I had around uh, 2200 uh, mAh battery of estimated capacity. So uh, I'm with the flat variant. So uh, go ahead into the comments and tell me if you're with S7 and S7 Edge and what is your estimated um, capacity. So this is uh, something that I'd like to see on your devices which will be uh, interesting. So it says that basically I've drained 800, uh, I've lost 800 milliamp hours of my battery because this phone is with uh, 3000 milliamp hours. So uh, it would be really nice to see what are your results. So uh, basically go ahead and install this ROM, it's worth it, it's uh, right now the best Note 8 port and the only way to get 7.1.1 onto uh, your device working smoothly. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one, peace.